Good morning everyone! Today we are going to learn about arithmetic sequence. But before that, I prepared an activity for you to answer. You are going to evaluate the following sequences if the difference of the two successive terms is constant or not. So we have only three different sequences given okay so number one it's very familiar that is counting numbers so we have one two three four five six and so on and so forth so what do you think the difference of the two successive terms are constant yes absolutely yes because two minus one is one three minus two is one four minus three is one five minus four is one so again it is constant how about the second uh, given or sequence so we have odd numbers so the odd numbers is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on and so forth. So what do you think? Again, it is constant because 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 11 minus 9 is 2, and so on and so forth. Again, it is constant. How about the last given sequence? The given sequence is prime numbers. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on and so forth. What do you think? Yes, it is not a constant. Why? Because 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. So, automatic, they are not the same. So, it is not constant. Arithmetic progression according to the definition is one which the difference between two consecutive terms is constant and that is common difference and you've got it right and analyze it right from the activity so in general if we let a sub 1 be the first number d be the common difference n be the number of terms and a sub n be the n term so by the definition we can say that the second term a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus the d then a sub 3 the third term is equal to a sub 2 plus d and take note that a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus d copy the d so we have a sub 1 d plus d is 2d so a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2d now the fourth term we have a sub 4 is equal to a sub 3 plus d which is a sub 3 is equivalent to a sub 1 plus 2d copy the d so we have a sub 1 plus 3d and so on and so forth take note that your n must be deducted by 1 and that is the value of your numerical coefficient of d so take note 2 your coefficient the here the numerical coefficient of d is 1 3 the numerical coefficient of the d is 2 and then the 4 is 3 so in general, the formula of arithmetic progression, we have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus d. And a sub n, uh, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Given an arithmetic sequence with first term equal to 5 and common difference equal to 4, find the first 5 terms and the 20th terms so what are the given first is a sub 1 equal to 5 then d is equal to 4 what is asked find the first five terms second is the 20th term so here are the solution for the first question find the first five terms so since we have already the a sub 1 just simply add the common difference which is 4 so we have 5 the first term plus 4 that is 9 plus 4 that is 13 plus 4 that is 17 plus 4 that is 21 so here are the five first terms so next is the 20th term so how to solve that one using the general rule of the arithmetic progression or sequence that is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d so substitute the value so a sub 20 is equal to the first term is 5 plus n is 20 minus 1 times the d that is 4 so we have 5 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times 4 that is 76 plus 5 that is 81 pause the video and answer the given question solution application solution assignment